Hello, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our TOEIC unit for the month of July. So today we're going to be talking about a new factory, and maybe you are someone with a lot of money and you're doing business and you want to get rid of your old factory and build a new one so you can continue to produce things and make a lot of money and give people jobs and stuff like that. So that's what we're looking at today: a conversation about someone who wants to build. A new factory. Yeah, we're talking to.、Um, we're not talking to anybody. We're going to pretend to be talking to each other. I'm going to play the role of Vanessa,、um, and then there's a Frank as well. Vanessa, I think she's the person who is trying to replace the factory.、Uh, who's Frank, Tom? Frank is somebody who is simply offering suggestions、mm. here, and、uh, of course, when、uh, you want to set up a new factory, you need to get as much information as possible. Okay, you need to talk to your people. That's why you hired them. Get their opinions. Do some research so that you don't waste time and you don't need to tear something down later when you found out it was、uh, not a good idea, etc. So yeah, it's a good idea to talk to as many people as possible, and that's what they're doing in today's conversation. It's all. About About the new factory, bigger, better, and greener. We'll talk about that in just a couple of seconds. But right now, we're going to listen to the conversation read from top to bottom. As you know, our oldest factory recently failed its inspection, and will have to close down within two years. We were anticipating this. So we've already selected a site for our new factory. Today, I want to kick off a discussion on what the new factory will be like. We should try to make our new manufacturing plant as sustainable as possible. Please elaborate, Frank. What I mean is, we need to make use of renewable energy and other energy-saving strategies. Take lighting, for example. We should use natural lighting whenever we can, and also keep the lights clean. Dusty light bulbs and light shades both reduce brightness. That's true, but we should implement cutting-edge technology as well. Can you give some examples? We can use the Internet of Things. A system can control the lights and turn them on when it detects motion. Then turn them off after a period of time, thus conserving energy. Similar devices can monitor temperature, water pressure, and more. Speaking of water, we should definitely try to collect and use rainwater and recycle our wastewater too. I have some price quotes from solar panel companies here. So whatever else we do, we should install solar panels on our roofs. All of these are great ideas, but most importantly, we have to foster a culture of energy efficiency. Everyone has to buy into the idea of being green. All right, let's talk about the contents of today's lesson. It's a new factory. A factory, of course, is a large building in which you manufacture things, and they're going to build a new factory that's going to be bigger than the last factory, better than the old factory, and greener than the old factory. So, yeah, it's going to be an improvement over the last factory. If you talk about something being greener, that does not mean you're going to paint it a green color to make it look like grass or trees or things like that. It just means it's going to be more environmentally friendly. That's true. So they're going for bigger, better, and greener. All of these things are、uh, part of their goal when they build the new factory. You sure wouldn't want to build a factory that was smaller, worse, and not green at all. So、uh, they have some good goals here. So Vanessa seems to be the one who's in charge. Maybe she's a manager. Um, or maybe she's even the president or CEO of their company, but she's talking to her employees, and she says our oldest factory recently failed its inspection. 
Most governments have inspections to check out the quality of things that will affect people's lives and their health.、Uh, they don't want the people that they are are governing have some sort of injury at a really bad factory or. Even driving a poor, poorly built or bad car, so we often have to have things in our lives inspected, like our cars. How much exhaust and pollution do your cars produce? In the states, at least,、uh, I know they have to go through that sort of inspection,、um, and if it doesn't pass, you have to get your car. Fixed, or maybe even try to get a, a newer car that doesn't produce so much pollution. Well, this particular factory failed the government inspection, and now they have to close down. But they have two years to work with, two years to build the new factory.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, Vanessa does not seem to be too surprised here because、uh, she said, as you know. Uh, our factory failed inspection, and we were anticipating this. So, if you anticipate something, that means you look forward to something happening in the future, and you expect it to happen. I'm anticipating having a lot of fun. On my summer vacation this year.、Cool. Okay, so yes, I'm looking forward to that. I think that's going to happen. So yes, we were thinking that this was going to happen. We were expecting this.、Uh, you could also say that. So we've already selected a site for our new factory. So Vanessa must have known that this factory was not going to pass the inspection, and that they would have to tear it down and build a new factory someplace else. So she says they've already found a site. They've already chosen or selected. Selected a site or location for the new factory. Yeah. So today she says, "I want to kick off a discussion."、Uh, kick off just means to start something. Typically, we use kick off to talk about starting some sort of ad campaign, or maybe a political campaign, or maybe you just want to kick off a new project. So you're starting something. If you are familiar with American football, to begin the game, they always have a kickoff, right? So one player kicks the ball all the way down the field to the opposite team they're playing. So they have to return the football. That's a they're kicking off, or that's the kickoff. So kickoff here is a verb phrase. If you turn it into a noun, which you could,、um, I think they put a hyphen between these two words. So. You might want to double check. So they're want to, they're going to kick off a discussion of、uh, what the factory will be like, or、uh, the discussion on what the factory will look like.、Uh, what does Frank say? He says we should try to make our new manufacturing plant as sustainable as possible.、Uh, to manufacture means to produce in large numbers. Typically, you're talking about making some sort of product. In a factory. Now, if you provide a service for people, then you really aren't doing anything that requires manufacturing. This would be a company that actually produces some sort of product that a consumer or a customer can use. So, to manufacture, and they're talking about the manufacturing plant, which is another way to say factory too. Yep, and if you are someone who manufactures something, you are a manufacturer.、Mm-hmm. That's kind of hard to say, but they're all related to the verb to manufacture. So this is a new manufacturing plant or factory, and they want to make it as sustainable as possible. If you see the word sustainable, that means they want it to be using resources over and over again to recycle water or whatever, and not cause a lot of pollution. Well, Vanessa. Says, please elaborate, Frank. So yes, he kind of makes a general statement here about making the new factory as sustainable as possible, but he hasn't really offered any specific information. So that's why Vanessa says, "Please elaborate, Frank. Please give us some more details. Give us some more specific information." That's what to elaborate means to give more details. This is one of those strange English words that、uh, we come up with every once in a while, where we change the pronunciation on you without、uh, without much warning. So this is a verb. Please elaborate. It also is the same spelling for the adjective form, but the pronunciation for the adjective is elaborate. If something's elaborate, it just has a lot of details. A lot of Parts are involved. It could be、um, something that's designed very intricately.、Uh, 
、Uh, but here to elaborate, as Tom said, means to fill in a general idea with specific details. So, what does Frank mean by saying sustainable? Well, he says they need to use renewable energy and other energy-saving strategies. Take lightning, for example. We'll often use this if we want to give specific examples. Take this, for instance, or take this, for example. We should use natural lighting wherever we can. I love natural lighting. I wish I had natural lighting、um, in my on my roof, but I'm in an apartment building and I'm not on the top floor. Natural lighting means you're letting in the sun. Which makes all the difference in I think how people feel. It makes you feel better to have natural lighting rather than fluorescent lighting or LED lighting. Yeah, as far as I know, the only source of natural lighting is the sun. Uh huh. Uh, it might be from fires or something if you're living next to a house that's burning down, but that's an extreme example. Most of the time, you want to let the sun shine in.、Mm -hmm. Figure out ways for the light to come in through windows or through the roof or whatever. And he goes on to say, we should use natural lighting whenever we can, and also keep the lights clean. Uh, that's another problem, dust. Okay, there's dust in the air all the time, and it settles on different surfaces. It doesn't care where it settles; it's there. You have to dust all the time with a moist rag or something like that. So yeah, they need to dust the light bulbs, and they also need to dust the light shades. So that's the word dust here to remove those small little dirt particles.、Uh, dusty is the adjective here. So yes, dusty light bulbs and light shades both reduce brightness, and of course. That will cause us to use more electricity to have the lights inside brighter, and that's not very sufficient. I wanted to mention to some of the people out there who are interested in maybe interior decorating or interior design. If you have a lamp and you have that、uh, object that's on top of the light bulb, it's called a lamp shade. Um, a light shade is probably only in a factory. I don't really know that term too much, but a lamp shade you will run into, and they come up with really beautiful lamp shades out there. So Wendy is another person who's trying to give her boss Vanessa some ideas, and she says that's true. She agrees with Frank, but we should implement cutting edge technology as well. To implement something just means to put it to use. You're going to take something and use it、uh, as a type of、uh, equipment, or you could put a decision into action. Implement cutting edge just means the very latest in whatever technology is out there. Cutting edge technology. Yep, leading technology, the latest technology, and Vanessa says, "Well, can you elaborate? Can you give us some examples?"、Mm. And Wendy says, "Well, we can use the Internet of Things." Okay, that's a new term here for ways to use the internet to help you in your daily lives. A system can control the lights and turn them on when it detects motion, and then turn them off after a period of time, thus conserving energy. So I think、uh, she's talking about a sensor here.、Uh, sensors kind of tied into a central computer, or maybe even tied into the internet, and it can control the lights. And turn them on when it can detect motion.、Uh, I've got a light bulb like that in my bathroom. When you walk、mm. in, the light turns on,、mm -hmm. and when you leave, it turns off. So there's a sensor there. It detects motion, and then when there isn't motion after a period of time, about 30 seconds, then the lights turn off, and that will conserve or save energy. Yeah, the Internet of Things is really brand new. I'd never heard of it until I worked with a high tech company here in Taiwan, and I thought, what is IoT? IoT is when your、uh, appliances, even in your home, are connected to the internet. Everything is connected. Your refrigerator, at one point, is going to be able to tell you you need to buy some more milk. So things are getting kind of crazy out there. I'm sure some of our younger listeners are very well aware of IoT. Uh, we don't have enough time to talk about that specifically, but it's a cool piece of technology. Similar devices, Wendy says, can monitor or keep track of the temperature, water pressure, and more. We have a lot of systems these days that really do help us know what what temperature it is in the oven, how hot it is outside. We've got a lot of things that help us in our daily lives. Yep, to monitor the temperature, to keep a check on、mm -hmm. that, to know how hot or cold something is. 
And then Frank chimes in here with some more information. Speaking of water, in other words, now that we're talking about water, let me、uh, mention something about that.、Uh, we should definitely try to collect and use rainwater and recycle our wastewater too. I've heard about buildings that do this. Cool.、Uh, instead of trying to get rid of the rainwater and just flush it down to the、uh, sewer or whatever, they actually save it, and you can use that water to flush toilets. Or to water plants, etc.、Yeah. So yes, we should try to collect that rainwater and use it. And then the water that we use in the factory should be recycled as well. You can basically clean that water and use it again. It's cool. So Vanessa wants some a、uh, price quotes. She wants to know what the bids are for that, and、uh, she's asking specifically. For price quotes or bids from solar panel companies to、uh, see how much they charge them, she says we should install solar panels on our roofs. To install something, guys, just means you take a piece of equipment and you put it in place or put it in the position so it's ready to use. You have to install、uh, Wi-Fi、uh, if you want to have Wi-Fi in your house. It doesn't just magically appear. Or maybe you've had the telephone company come to your house and install a landline.、Uh, you install things. So Wendy thinks all of these are great ideas, but most importantly, she says we have to foster a culture of energy efficiency. To foster means to help something grow and be successful. So she wants everybody who is an employee there to think about how to save energy. If you're talking about efficiency, you're talking about someone who doesn't waste things. They don't waste time. They don't waste energy. They don't waste gas. You know, there are lots of things you can waste.、Um, and she's wanting to save the energy that they have. So, energy efficiency would mean people who are aware of lights that should be turned off, of maybe.、Um, You know, turning the air conditioner、uh, a few degrees higher in the summer to save on energy that way. She says everyone has to buy into the idea of being green. We use that phrase "buy into something" when you get a lot of people、uh, agreeing to follow some sort of decision or、um, try their best to put something into action. So we hope that they get all the employees on board. I think they're going to. Yep, they need to buy into that idea or accept that idea of being green, of being environmentally friendly, of having the manufacturing plant be as sustainable as possible. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion about their conversation. But now we're going to listen to the Chinese teacher. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Today we're going to look at the third unit. Okay, third unit. 嗯，我们要来看一个对话。这个对话内容谈到现在工厂也要是一个绿色的，嗯，新时代，主要是要环保。那我们来看看文章里面，哎，两位对话的人，一个是 Vanessa， 一个是 Frank。Vanessa 呢，他就提到说，哎，这个老旧的工厂最近没有通过检查。好，这个 fail。当然，我们知道 fail 就代表不及格。Fail subject 就是你这颗被当了。但这边说的 failed is inspection 就是没有通过检查。好，那嗯，必须在两年关闭。好，那他说要为新工厂。选一个地点，那就要讨论说，好，既然旧工厂要关闭，新工厂应该怎么做呢？这边开始讨论 ，kick off 这个动词就像开球一样，哎 ，kick off discussion 就表示要开始讨论。那 discussion 这个字，讨论如果你有一个主题接在后面，好 ，on 就是它的介系词。On a certain topic, on a certain subject, 他要谈的主题就是这个新的工厂会是什么样子。我们再来看到 Frank， 他就提到说，嗯，新工厂当然我们要朝的方向就是 sustainable， sustainable 就是要能永续的发展。换句话说，也就是要注意环保的。问题要让它是一个，比如利用再生能源，能节能，哎，这样的一样的新工厂。所以它这个字 sustainable 就告诉你
他的方向了。那么 Vanessa 就说 ，Please elaborate. Elaborate 就是叫你仔细说一点，这样子听到底要怎么做呢？所以 Frank 就讲了，其实要点是 ，We need to make use of renewable energy. Renewable. 好，我们知道 re 都是代表 again， 再利用，再一次。哎，大家常常说 recycle, reuse, reduce. 哦、oh, ，这个 renewable 也就是说。再生能源用到的是能再生的能源，那意思就是说，哎，像太阳能，对不对？好，还有他提到了 other energy saving strategies， 这代表节能策略。所以他说，用照明来看，其实用自然光当然是最好的。那么，如果是用电灯的话，要注意电灯的清洁。嗯，灰尘，如果你沾满灰尘没有清它，是不是亮度就会降低呢？哎，的确。所以呢，接下来 Wendy 他就说话了。Wendy 他就提议，嗯，没有错。那我们应该用尖端科技。哎，什么叫尖端科技 ？Cutting edge technology。注意到这个片语哦。那 Vanessa。就告诉他说，可不可以也举几个例子？就像刚刚说的 ，please elaborate。这里也是说 ，please can you give some examples？ 我们要听听看例子啊。那 Wendy 就讲了，哎，其实可以利用物联网。他说这个系统呢，就可以控制灯光。哎，如果你有动作，哎，它就会打开。然后呢，如果我们一段时间没有用，它就关闭。这样子就是可以自动的节省能源。好，那这样子的提议，当然他还讲到别的，像说，嗯，你也可以拿这样的装置来控制温度、水压等等。所以 Frank 就接着提到了水。Speaking of water， 我们注意到 speaking of 这个意思就是提及、谈到。我们这边当然 ，of 后面一定是加名词喽，所以这边说的是 water。那么一谈到水啊，哎，我们应该要试着把雨水给收集起来，然后再利用，而且我们的废水也应该要回收。好，这些都是环保的点子。那 Vanessa 就讲了，我这里呢其实是有一些太阳能板公司的报价，好，报价 price quotes。好，他说的太阳能板 （solar panel）， 我们也知道太阳能板装设在屋顶上，当然就是表示可以收集这些太阳的能量，然后呢再转换成电，对不对？所以这个地方他就说他们会在屋顶上 install solar panels。install 就是安装。好，谈到这里 ，Wendy 就说了，嗯，这些主意都很好，不过最重要的是，我们应该要培养。节能的这样子的文化，然后呢，大家都应该怎么样 ？Buy into the idea of being green。换句话说，就是应该要有环保的信念。好的，我们今天的讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
Sometimes you are giving explanations because because someone doesn't quite understand your idea, or you can see they don't quite agree with you. That happens as well. So you might have to come up for some with some reasons why your idea should be at least、uh, discussed. Um, so here's one you can use. Well, the reason for this is, and then you go on to tell them why you think your idea is important or really necessary at your company.、Um, this happens at most companies. I've never really been at a company where someone accepts everybody's idea the first time they mention it. You kind of have to sell your idea and have other people buy into it. Number three, Tom. Okay. Well, the thing is, okay. So yeah, that's what happens when you need to clarify something. The thing is, it's kind of like a filler there, basically,、yeah. because you could just go on and say these machines are more expensive. But in order to kind of do that transition, you're going to see. Well, what I mean is, the thing is, gives you time to think too. Yeah, basically, yeah. stuff that you say while you're kind of thinking, like, uh, well, uh, <laughs>、yeah. you see, uh, what I mean is,、uh, sure. the reason for this is, etc. So. Well, the thing is, these machines are more expensive, but their efficiency will save us money in the long run. So yes, those machines will be cost efficient. Yes, they're going to cost a lot of money at the beginning, but over the long term, in the long run, they will actually save us money. So yeah, well, the thing is. Yeah, it's、uh, something you'll hear quite often. Actually, you guys have the same things in Chinese, where people are just kind of stalling or waiting to gather their thoughts. So here's the discussion question, Tom: How could your office or school be more、uh, energy efficient? Now we're not in school anymore. You might want to talk about your home. Yeah, are there any areas in your home, Tom, that could be more energy efficient? Well, I will say that、uh, we live in、uh, a three-story house,、uh -huh. and so we—I、uh, guess it's Tou Tian, as you say、mm -hmm. in Chinese. So we spend a lot of time on the top floor, and in the summer that gets kind of hot. So of course we run the air conditioner there quite a bit. I think one way we could be more. Uh, efficient, or to save more money, is to actually do things downstairs,、uh, down on the first floor, or something like that, because it's cooler down there. And I did also want to say about our recording studio here for our program.、Uh -huh. It's in the basement of、uh, this office complex here. So I think because it's downstairs, it's actually cooler down here、yeah. in the summer. And、uh, when the air conditioning is on, cold air sinks, you know. So、mm -hmm. it's actually pretty cool down here, whereas. Uh, the next floor up, it's a little warmer. You can、mm -hmm. tell. Yeah, I could talk about my parents' home. My parents,、um, we live in Arizona, or I did used to live in Arizona. It's very, very hot in the summer, and they purposely built a basement just like this. They built a basement in our home because. The summers were just so darn hot. So, yeah, there are lots of ways you can save energy. I'm sure you can have a great discussion about this, especially if you're students in school. Are there better ways that you guys could help your school be more energy efficient? Well, that's all the time we have for today. We、uh, glad you joined us. We have another day though, don't we, Tom? We do. It's in our TOEIC unit. It's called Green Machines. We hope you'll join us then. For English Digest, I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.